Hello, welcome. Um, this is Robot Genie. This is going to be my first uh, YouTube Let's Play. And what we're going to be doing is uh, I uh, I have you know a few a few achievements in Europa Universe LS4. Uh, <laughs> actually, I got a, a good chunk of them, um, but I am missing a couple of interesting ones. And the one I want to try for this series is the uh, Nas Jihad achievement. Now, um, the tooltip says that you uh, need to. Let's see. What exactly does it say? It says something like conquer Europe, Asia, and Africa as yeah, as Naj conquer Europe, Africa, and Asia and convert it to the Sunni religion. Well, actually, that's not entirely correct. What you really have to do is have over 500 provinces and have 100% religious unity and be Sunni and have started as Naj. So it's not as hard as the tooltip makes it sound, although it is still pretty hard. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna play on Iron Man, obviously, because we need the achievement. Uh, Random New World is off, and uh, difficulty is on normal. Um, so we're just gonna start this right here. Oh, it looks like I already had one. Um, and then uh, so I haven't looked at this start yet. Uh, I looked at some strategies online. Uh, some general ideas. Uh, I I think what I'm gonna do. So we're we're gonna be Muslim tech group here, which means we get 80% cav in our armies, which is uh, really cool. Uh, we're never gonna reform ever. Uh, let's just set all all of these guys as rivals. Um, so one thing that I should say is, uh, uh, especially since I haven't even tried this before, I might um, there might be a couple uh, restarts. Because uh, the start is super important, especially coming from such a weak position as uh, as you are in, um, in in a lot of these hard Iron Man uh, games. It, it's it's normally best to, uh, <laughs> or normally you have to do something crazy in the beginning, and uh, it cannot work out for you uh, <laughs> the first go or so. Um, so anyway, it looks like uh, we have a force limit of five and then you know we get some navy but I don't really care about the navy right at this moment it's not good enough uh, so we're gonna roll a general he uh, he sucks so let's see what our heir and our king are like uh, the heir is a three shock and um, so if you don't know shock is the most important thing early on um, oh boy but I don't know if I want to really put the heir as the leader of the army with my uh, ruler being 64 years old it, it's kind of kind of sucks um, yeah so we'll enact those reforms sounds good achieve religious unity we're not even we aren't even religiously united to start <laughs> as the nudge well that's that's interesting it's good can we even... Oh yeah, it looks like we can convert them. And that's going to take a while though. And I don't think that is... Uh, you know, we want to pick something that we can really complete pretty quickly. So Ottoman's Opinion 125. Do they even like me? They do kind of like me. So they would be a good ally early on. Especially since I plan on taking over this lower section here. And probably, uh, I don't know, uh, I, sh I should be able to grab uh, the Egypt section of the Mamelukes when the Ottomans start to crush them. I can just kind of sneak in there and grab some provinces. That, that should work. Um, so I, I can do that to get some land. Then I, I kind of plan on just grabbing a whole bunch of Africa. I feel like that'll be uh, easy uh, to do and uh, get me a lot of good land. And then now. Uh, probably go up into Persia and obviously into India and all of Asia is going to be super easy. We're going to have to face Russia at some point. Um, if everything's going well, I'm probably going to try to take out the Ottomans and the Iberian Peninsula too, but we'll, we'll yeah, let's wait down the road. We'll see about that. Uh, anyway, I should probably do something here. Uh, so I guess we'll take that mission. None of them are super good for early on. 
but we should see if we can get an alliance from anyone to start. I guess that's, that's probably the most important thing. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if... I mean, I guess, I guess a doll. The Hasa is probably the best target. I almost feel like declaring a no cast belly war on them before they get allies just to just to take them. Um, that car coinly hates me. The Timurids hate me. I don't. Fighting the Timurids would be really bad early on. Okay, doesn't look like I have any allies early. Um, I'm gonna try to ally the Mamelukes actually to start, so I'm gonna improve relations with them. It doesn't really go with the idea that I, or the mission that I took, but that's okay. So we're gonna get one foot soldier, one cav, and let's see, we got 12,000 manpower. Probably gonna do another cav too, and then we're gonna start um, fabricating some claims on Alhasa. Because that seems like a good idea. And, uh. Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, so I, I just got this, and the, uh, the recording time and the frames per second and everything that it's showing is, uh, you know, it covers up my pause screen, so that's a little bit weird. Maybe I'll have to figure that one out. So I am going to put my heir as the leader of my army, which is probably a terrible decision, to be quite honest. Um,. Yeah, it's probably a bad decision uh, to to do that. And um, you know, with the leader being uh, 65, he could actually have a, a second heir that isn't <laughs> uh, zero years old. He might also be of age, but we don't uh, know that in this game. It's not like uh, CK2 where you would actually uh, get that type of information. So, hmm, we're not making a ton of money. Let's see, uh, yeah, let's go protect trade. Oh, that's not even our trade note. Yeah, so we're in the Basara trade note. Interesting. Okay. Wait, so what is going on here? The, okay, so this guy's transferring trade power. Good. Uh, actually, so maybe it is best to go to Gulf of Aden. I'm gonna have to remember to get those ships back. They're probably gonna get destroyed when I call my first war. I'm do something stupid. Now the Mamelukes are domineering towards me. I think that means I can't get an alliance. Which... <sighs> so I might might as well leave them alone. Now, who did I send as rivals? Hejaz, Oman, and Yemen. Yeah, so I... You know, <laughs> thinking back on it, it might not have been a good idea to rival all my potential allies right by me. Um, I might have been better off not... Um, not rivaling all all the people I could rival. Because what do I really get out of power projection in the beginning? An extra leader. For, for what? I don't even have a second army. So... Maybe that wasn't the most intelligent decision. Uh, what? What is that? Okay, yeah, so I am fabricating a claim on Alhasa. It's, um... Oh, so apparently I just... <laughs> just... Got a core on um Okay, I am Muslim tech group. And this guy is Muslim tech group. Uh I just got a core on Medina for reasons. And do they have they don't have allies, which is interesting. The See what I'm concerned about here and what I think is gonna happen here is as soon as I attack 
one of these guys is going to declare war on me. So I think I first need to take out El Hasa, and then we're going to go straight for Hejaz, uh, because I can feel the six-person army, and uh, I think I think I'll be able to take him. I, I think even what I might do is I might uh, I think I might vassalize El Hasa, because then I'm going to have a uh, higher force limit. Or, well, I won't have a higher force limit, but my combined army will be stronger. And, um, it's just, that's just really important right now. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh... Why not? We're gonna declare war. And uh let's see how this uh this all goes. Get some get some of that uh beautiful prestige maybe. So I am gonna detach a siege and then come back over here because uh, I just you just don't have a lot of manpower. Manpower is always an issue early on, especially with these kind of starts and I uh, you know, I would just rather not lose any manpower I don't have to lose. Um so while we're sieging here, I guess uh should maybe talk about some of the ideas. Um so I was thinking about taking Yemen declared war on Oman. Okay, cool. Maybe I should uh fight them. Uh anyway, I was thinking about taking um administrative and then I think I want to go administrative influence and then um, and then probably aristocratic because uh, the military uh, mainly for the military tech cost down just because we got to keep up the military tech it's the most important thing uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. although you know for the fourth idea I, I want to go humanist but it might even be a smart idea to go humanist as the first idea really because um yeah it might just be a smart idea to go for it uh just because in muslim tech you're going to be getting your ideas later everything's going to come later so uh yeah, i might want that want that now i guess i could also go for a diplo tech first that that wouldn't be a, a bad idea we're going to do this as a vassalization game mainly okay yep yeah. so I believe, yeah, we wanna we wanna gain piety. Oh, and I should probably send a missionary because piety is gonna give us um, convert chance, and it's going to give us morale. And yeah, you know, fort defense is nice, but r really, it's the morale and missionary strength is you know is the gold. That's what you really want. And, oh wait, no. Yeah, we don't want a full annex. I don't want to deal with the revolt risk. And, oh yeah, oh cool, we make them force religion. I don't want to deal with the revolt risk. I really just kind of want to, yeah, let's, oh my gosh. Let's take all of their money, force vassalize them. Yes, that, that'll be excellent. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is, uh, now you know what, um, not kind of national focus yet. When we take, I'm gonna take a diplo idea first, the influence idea, and when we take it, then I will uh, focus because I kind of want to just get to the idea uh, first. I don't want to hinder my progression towards that. And military is really important early on. So, so let's see. Let's build another cav unit. I think um, you, normally um, when you have a uh, you know when it, when you can do eighty percent cav armies, what it really you know you can't just build an army that's just strictly eighty percent cavalry and twenty percent infantry because as soon as you get into the battle, the infantry is going to take more damage and you're going to have uh, the negative penalties of insufficient support. So normally I try to do like 35 or 40% when when I'm Muslim tech and I can have 80% cav because that 
it kind of works nice on multiple battles in a row when the infantry takes a bunch of damage. Uh, you're not going to get inf sufficient support for a while, but you still have a lot of cav. Um, yeah, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... Oh yeah, my land force limit didn't go up, but we're going to build another one anyway. Might even build... Uh, maybe even build two more. I might grab a, grab a mercenary here. Because what we're gonna want to do, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab two mercenaries. I'm gonna go a little bit into debt. That's all right though. Debt is good. Debt is fun. We're still using our air, which is, you know, maybe maybe not the smartest decision. Um, but I mean, he's he's three shock, so uh, it's it's really it's really the only explanation. He's three shock. So we're gonna send him to Medina, and we're gonna let's put another leader on this guy because yeah, you know we have a ton of leaders. And this guy's gonna go over to Tabuk, and hopefully we can get this Hajaz army to uh, to attack the four stack in Medina, which is. Uh, it looks like mountains. Yeah, it's 23% mountains, 73% desert. So hopefully we get you know get some beneficial terrain. And <laughs> or or you know he could just go siege our territory, and that might work too. But the war goal is Medina, so we're gonna grab the war goal. It's always always a good idea to go for the war goal. If he sieges one of my provinces, you know, who cares? I'll live. He'll surrender. Oh, let's uh bump it back up to speed four. Oh, whoa. Oh my god. He just crushed him straight out. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that is uh that is really bad. Hmm. Well, apparently uh the early 7 stack versus a 4 stack uh <laughs> doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. That didn't work at all. Hmm, maybe I should have gone for Roman. I think we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna restart and uh, play through that start again. So yeah, I think this will make <laughs> we'll have this be a good first episode and uh, call it here. So uh, thanks uh, for watching, folks. And uh, next time uh, we'll do the second start. Goodbye.